y'all. This is Pete with Handicap Outdoors. Welcome back to another uh, boat restoration video. Uh, this will be part three, I believe. Um, yeah, don't mind this little thing. This just happened. Uh, it was a little pimple, and I kind of got fed up with it and took a pair of uh, nail clippers to it just to get the darn thing to yeah never mind but anyway um today um is the first comfortable day after two weeks of humidity hell um the last two weeks have been you know 80s 90s and humidity in the 60 percent so you're looking at heat index of 100 degrees. You know, your sweat is sweating. Um, you know, just miserable. And my last couple of videos have been in that, that temperature. Uh, today, I woke up and it was mid-60s. Humidity was low. Uh, barometric pressure was freaking perfect. I opened up the door and was greeted with, oh my god, perfect fishing weather and the boat is torn apart. Oh my god, I want to go fishing. So, today's just going to be a short video. Um, I am going to be getting, I'm going to be getting this bench done basically uh, screwed all together um and i'm going to be getting the hole in the uh floorboard so i can put in the bilge pump and then the hose ran and zip tied up through that uh handle for now just because I will not be able to bale water with the floorboard in it. Um, I have to check and see if the uh, seat is de-rusted yet. And I'm able to pull it out of the other mount that's inside the shed. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to be using this as a seat. And with my folding stadium seat that I've been using. Um, it is currently wide open all the way to the front bench. And, uh, which means I can sit on the front bench, turn sideways a little bit, and cast off the front. Maybe. I don't know. Um... I don't think the water has ever gotten high enough. I don't think the water will get high enough to get anything on top of the floorboard wet. Knock on wood. So, should be alright on that point. As far as me bringing my stuff along and it not getting wet. Um... Yeah. Uh, my dad found half an anchor mate in the storage unit. He says he has the pulleys and everything to go with it. So I might have a mechanical anchor mate for that front uh, anchor that's really heavy. Which would be nice. Um, as far as everything else goes. He found this box of screws and a couple other boxes of screws. The other ones are pole barn screws that have really big heads on them that will not recess into the wood. They'd be sticking out and catch on everything. But these screws, you know, they're the right uh, type of screw with that type of head. But, uh, darn it, zoom right, there we go. Unfortunately, they have this star head is a T25 six lobe hex drive or a star drive. 
Torx head screws. So I had to go to Menards. That's the local hardware chain. I took one inside with me just to make sure everything would line up. And I got a couple of uh, bits that would fit in my uh, drill. So I could just use up these three and an eighth inch screws on this large board. Now, that's about the only thing I'm going to use these for is when I'm using this large board because this can handle it. For the rest of my uh, two by twos and the plywood into two by twos for the deck, I'm going to be using these triple coated deck screws, which have the regular Phillips heads. And they are uh, two and a half inch long. So they'll go through a standard two by two and have a nice bite into the next one. Or, you know, almost go through a two by two if you're going into plywood. So it'll have a good bite. I wanted to get the two and a quarters, which would have been perfect for the plywood to uh, two by twos, but unfortunately they did not have them as far as the uh, little sale that was going on. And, you know, screws ain't cheap. Uh, these screws, let me see if I can find it here. All right, so the screws, the two and a half deck, half inch deck screws, five pounds, was twenty six fifty eight. Not cheap, and the uh, bits were five twenty five. You know, total after tax was uh, thirty three fifty eight. So that was not cheap at all. So, yeah, I went a little over budget on the screws, but hopefully five pounds of those dang things is enough. You know. You can tell there's a temperature difference because just take a look at that gas can. <laughs> I mean, it still has gas in it. But, uh... Yeah, <laughs> I need a different nozzle on that because that is going to be sitting down there in the, uh, in the bench, in the back. There's eventually going to be a lockbox lid on that side. Uh, between me and my dad, we decided we we're going to have a, um, well, there's going to be a bench on the entire side going all the way up to the front to the deck but in that back corner there's going to be battery box either a single or a double battery but on top of the battery box i'm going to have a slanted um battery box cover and on that slanted battery box cover there's going to be switches and on top of those switches, there's going to be a plastic cover that comes down over it. So I can lift up the plastic cover and operate the switches. And those are going to be for my interior and exterior lights and my bilge pump. So, yeah, that's going to be um, great. And I found a switch panel. Uh, six marine grade rocker switches already on an aluminum panel already wired up with uh, fuses 15 amp uh, for 36 bucks on Amazon so actually my dad found them and he is going to possibly be getting them for me 
I don't know, I still have to work out those details because I just spent, or he just spent over a grand fixing the front end of my car because lower ball joints were ready to pop out and uh, the brakes were, um, there was nothing left of the rotors or pads on the front. So new rotors and pads and lower ball joints because according to him when he went in and looked at it, because he used to be a master mechanic and uh, I went to school for automotive as well. But uh, apparently um, the next pothole I would have hit could have popped the entire, um, you know, steering assembly and everything off of that one side, and my car would have taken a bow, <laughs> pretty much. The ball joists were that bad, they are ready to literally pop out. It didn't take any force whatsoever to just pop them out with a um, screwdriver when they uh, had it up in the air. So, <laughs> yeah, I was riding with my life on a line, a uh, really thin thread. <laughs> so, you know, that's a reminder to everybody. Um, if your car's making noises, especially when you go over bumps or something like that, if it's a really loud clunk, especially when you turn and there's a clunk, you might want to get that checked out. You know, a lot of shops and whatnot will say, yeah, okay, we'll lift it up and just take a look. And they won't charge you. Especially if you have a good relationship with the shop. Normally they won't charge you just to look. Because they know that you'll bring it back to do it. And if they tell you that you can last a few days on it. Or something until you can get like Cooley Cap. Or some other state funded agency to you know, help you fix your car. Because I know, like, I'm not on disability yet, but I'm very, I'm considered no income, low income. Um, there are agencies that assist with people in my situation. Some agencies require proof of income in order to assist. And in that case, uh, proof of disability is proof of income. And they'll help you, they'll give you a loan or something like that, no interest, and payments are super low, you know, like 10 bucks a month, or 10 bucks a week, or something like that, something really cheap. And you can get your car fixed you know, stuff like that. Um, you don't want to be driving around a beater that will fail and leave you stranded or possibly catastrophically fail and leave you on the side of the road, you know, half dead. You know, real talk. You don't want that to happen. Or maybe you do. I don't know. I'm not inside your head. But does your family want that? You gotta think about that. Anyway, 
back to the boat project. Um, I'm going to get this uh, seat all done. Going to get the boat loaded up. And I'm going fishing. Because fishing is my therapy. And it's been over two weeks since I had some therapy. Yep. Hmm. Well, I'm back. I got the seat unrusted. That was a bitch. I am covered in rust and grime and other crap. But I got it out. Hurt my back doing it. Still gonna go fishing. Cause I need it. I need it so bad I can taste that river water. <coughs> Inhale some rust. <clears throat> Good for you. Plenty of iron. <clears throat> Good stuff. <sighs> anyway, I got the motor and the battery in. I got the little hole cut. And the bilge pump just sits in there perfect. I don't have it screwed in yet because nothing is finalized here. I got a hose. That's right about the perfect length. Um, gonna have to put some heat to it to bend it so that it, uh, you know, so that it works better. I'm actually gonna have to see how much power <coughs> Hmm, excuse me. Hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> Dang rust. <clears throat> Gonna have to see how much power that little motor has. It says 600 gallons a minute, but you're gonna see how much it throws in the water. And uh, I got all that loaded up. I got this built. It's heavy as hell and rock solid, but that works. I got this seat and I found this nice little pedestal part. It's broke, of course. Everything around here is broke, but okay, first time test fitting. That don't bode well for the seat. I might have to open up that hole. Ugh. That's all right. Ugh. Seat. Come on, seat. You get in there? Will you get in there? It don't want to go. Why don't I want to go? All that work. Phooey. Yeah, maybe if I sit on it, it'll go. I'll just... I don't know. I'll grab the drill and gouge out the hole a little bit before I go, I guess. But otherwise, I'm ready to go. I gotta hook it up to the car, and I'm going fishing. I hope you enjoyed this little video, my long rant. Not really a rant, but a lot of helpful tips. Um, yeah, that was part three of this boat renovation video. I'm going fishing, y'all. Have a good one. I'll bring you back on the next one. Now that I got my screws, I can start the framework for the uh, benches on the side and the framework for the uh, bow in the front.
I gotta take care of this uh, little fishing addiction I got. <laughs> Again, this is Pete with Handicap Outdoors. Have a good one.